Hello, my name is Andrea and I am a caregiver for my lovely mother. My mom is currently living with dementia, which is also known as memory loss. I use this channel to share tips, strategies, share my experiences that I gain each day along my caregiving journey. No two days are the same. Hence, I find it very, very important to build a community around caregiving. My channel is geared towards persons who are taking care of their loved ones and persons who are caring for others professionally. I love inviting others who wish to come on and share their caregiving experiences with me on this channel. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments. I truly appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hello to all my YouTube families and friends. I hope that you have been having a great week. This week we celebrated Valentine's Day. And I pray and hope that you are surrounded with love. Before I go on, I want to share with you a message that my friend sent me. It says, do what makes you happy. Be with those who make you smile. Laugh as much as you breathe. Love as long as you live. I thought that that was a beautiful message, so I really wanted to share it with you. So this week i had the opportunity of experiencing some snow so i decided that i was going to pad up my mother and take her outside to experience some snow and i'll share some of that with you no you are not going to do it yet i'm going to go down Mom, did turn around and look at 
with me. Did you enjoy that? Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed it? The first in my life. So <laughs> <laughs> you had a good time? Yeah. Those moments are priceless for me. So, last weekend, I was impacted by a news of a former colleague that passed off. She was a woman of God. She and I used to work together for years. And now she's no longer here. She was in the midst of a YouTube and Facebook live interview and she collapsed and passed off suddenly so i pause at this time to convey condolences to her work family her church family her immediate family oh my goodness i can't even imagine how they are feeling at this time i want to express condolences to all the friends that she had i know she used to love to sing and to pray and to worship and to preach nancy is right now rejoicing with the angels in heaven <laughs> verse 14 reminds me how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow your life is like a morning fog it's here a little while then it's gone so none of us knows when it will be our time to go unless we were ill and then it's expected but usually we don't know what will happen the next moment so i've had a concern for a while where i am a little bit bothered that have i put things in place in the event of a situation happening to me that my mom will be taken care of don't get me wrong, I have a support system, but will anybody be able to drop what they're doing at the drop of a dime to rush on over to take care of my mother? And it doesn't even have to stop with my mom. It could be a situation with me. Have I put things in place that if something should happen, it could be, it doesn't have to be death, we're not talking about death. It could be a temporary situation of illness where I have to be out of circulation for a few days or a while. Have things been put in place to take care of me and also my mother? At this point, I would tell you no. So these are things that we can start looking at. As we just spoke about, none of us knows what the next minute will bring. And so we always have to be prepared to deal with any eventualities as they come. And this is not to scare you. But this is reality that we're dealing with. We're dealing with people who have changing seasons. Likewise for ourselves. As they get older, we get older too. And things happen. Our bodies break down. And giving care to someone is not easy. 
So we have to take extra care of, of ourselves to ensure that we stay strong and we are able to continue functioning as usual. So that's my two cents for this week. Before I go, let me encourage you to love your loved ones in a way that they will feel the love and they can appreciate the love at this time before it's too late. Walk wow, good. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Love you. Goodbye.